This is Kaylee with the Drain Strainer. Today I'm here with Lena Fulham, the Director of Nutrition Services at Columbia Public Schools. And today we're going to be installing a drain strainer in Oakland Junior High cafeteria. Lena, tell me what problems a drain strainer is going to solve for you today. Well, Kaylee, we've had some trouble with our drains backing up into our kitchen. And uh, we've had a plumber come out several times to clean out our drains. And it's becoming very expensive for the school. So we're hoping that the drain strainer will help to prevent some of the food solids going into the drain so that we won't have to clean it out as often. Lena, thank you so much for letting us videotape the installation of the drain strainer just so we can show everybody out there just how simple it is. And now I'm here with Lucas Graves from Master Tech Plumbing who's going to do the installation for us today. Lucas, tell us a little about your company. Master Tech Plumbing's been around for uh, about 20 years now. Um, we do uh, Friday work, commercial and residential. We are experienced in all areas, drain up uh, until water heaters. Um, and we'd like to take care of everybody's problems. So, we so where are you going to be installing the drain strainer? Uh, right underneath here, right next to the garbage disposal. Uh, we come right in this corner. So we're not actually replacing the garbage disposal? No. What we're after on this one is the garbage disposal is working fine. What we're after is catching the solids after it's brown. Uh, we're going to use a drain strainer to catch those solids and the solids up here uh, before it goes to the drain lines. What happens with these drain lines is they, uh, if the solids are separated, they get caught in these old metal lines and then they just basically layer in uh, and then cause clogs later on. We hope that this will illustrate how the drain strainer can actually be used in conjunction with a commercial garbage disposal to help catch the solids after so it doesn't clog up the Lucas, before we get started, can you kind of walk us through the process? Yeah. First off, we're going to disconnect the garbage disposal and the drain line. We're going to leave the garbage disposal in place, disconnect the drain line from the wall. Uh, secondly, we're going to put the drain strainer together uh, so we can get kind of an idea of where it goes. Uh, then last, we're going to put uh, a kind of hole in the wall to access the drain line to lower the connection. Drains. 